How are you, John? Very well, thank you. How are you doing? Good, thank you. We're here with John Simons, who is the product manager for, I understand, the whole lineup for Bentley products here in the US? Uh, in the US, that's right, yeah, in the Americas region, so North America uh, and some of the South American countries as well. So yeah. you just got a little bit busy, right? <laughs> yeah, a lot busy. <laughs> yeah, but it's good. With the debut of the, this uh, fabulous SUV, the new Bentayga. And um, so this car, when they show it as a concept car in 2012, it created a little bit of controversy. Some people were, thought there were like too many sharp corners and too many things that were like maybe too bold. But now this, the final product obviously was tuned up to be, I mean, that's your job pretty much, right? Yeah, and actually at the time before I moved in my, into my car, well, I, I managed the research project for the concept car. So Oh, really? We launched so you the, did the whole process. Yeah, and, and the research in all different countries around the world. So, I mean, the idea behind the car was to really understand whether there was a, um, a potential and a, a kind of a likability for Bentley doing a, an SUV. And um, in terms of feedback, we received overwhelmingly positive feedback around the idea behind Bentley producing an SUV. Everybody in all major markets around the world were giving us a clear thumbs up behind yeah. doing the car. So um, from that perspective, it was extremely useful. Um, on the design side, uh, the design uh, was uh, was kind of polarizing in terms of opinion. So some countries, they really like the the more upright boldness. Mm -hmm. um, Personally, I like that a lot, but yeah. I mean. Yeah, and um, other markets, US was one of them actually. Customers tended to prefer a, a more dynamic um, kind of look. Um, Kind of sporty, dynamic, but still bold and powerful enough to give it yeah. a presence on the road, but not quite as um, as upright as a concept car. So the, the design has changed a lot since uh, the EXP 9F. So. Yeah, uh, but uh, obviously it, it has all the DNA, uh, Bentley DNA. Yeah, definitely. whatever you look around, like definitely, the headlights, yeah. the grill, the tape pipe. Yeah, ex exactly. I mean, on the exterior, there are there are a lot of things that come from Bentley DNA. There are some new things as well. Uh, which they um, they put onto the Bentayga, some really nice new features, um, especially around the rear lamp design and the integration of the B yeah. LED B design, which is a, a new feature on Bentayga. So they've kind of taken DNA from the other models in the range and added some new things, contemporized it um, on the outside. I mean, the interior is uh, it just screams Bentley. It's, I know it's, uh, it's just amazing. We're gonna. I, I understand the sunroof is a standard feature, right? That's right. The, a full panoramic sunroof is standard. Um, yeah, that's standard on every car, and, and um, that really creates a fully light interior, as you can see, as blinds go back. It's um, still opening. It's still opening, still <laughs> okay. going. I pushed this, like, <laughs> this really button a few, <laughs> like a long time ago, and I think it was still open because it's like so large. Yeah. Because the wheelbase of this vehicle is extremely large. I mean, you can really have yeah. a lot of comfort in back seats. Yeah, I mean, the, the proportions of the car, um, which, are, which are really vital in terms of giving the car the look that it has, but they're also very unique. So uh, the wheelbase in, partic in particular is, is very long. It's uh, 5.14 meters. Um, so it's a long wheelbase. Um, the car is, is uh, 1.7 meters tall. So it's a long wheelbase stretch car, but it's not overly tall. Mm -hmm. So it has a very planted look on the road. Um, but you're right, in terms of the wheelbase, there's definitely plenty of space in the back, and that's a benefit from the longer wheelbase as well. So this, this particular car is going to that configuration of four seats, yeah. but you can have five seats too, right? Yeah, that's right. So there's, there's two configuration options, basically. Um, this one with a four seat is um, kind of more of a comfort executive feel. Uh, the two rear seats in the back are basically the same seats that we're on here in the front, and okay. we put them in the back. So. In terms Including of adjustment controls and, of, uh, controls adjustment, and yeah. everything, yeah, they're, they're pretty much the same seats in the back. And you've got the center console that's there as well, which is a nice armrest and different features, some storage areas and everything else. Um, you can go for the five seat, so that's a more of a, it's not a complete bench style seat. Um, you can still move the seat separately, but um, it's, it's more of a bench style direction. So you lose the console in the middle, but then obviously you have the the practicality of um, putting five people into the yeah, car. And being on the on the lot such a long wheel base, I mean, I guess there's space for even like seven seat configuration. Yeah, I mean, potentially uh, there is a space, definitely. Um, it's not something that we have at the moment, but it's um, as I say, it's not something that we'll rule out in the future as well. So another thing that I noticed is that you have obviously a lot of uh, technology, communication, entertainment technology 
it's out of the car, including like pretty advanced uh, GPS systems, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's um, all the technology is kind of controllable around here, around the MMI screen. Um, for the navigation specifically, uh, we have a kind of an inbuilt navigation system, but we also offer a Google Map functionality as well. So the car has Wi-Fi um, and is connected, and uh, you can use Google Maps, Google Earth, um, all the satellite imagery to. Um, pull the data down um, using the Wi-Fi and you can get all, all the Google navigation on there as yeah, well. Yeah, and for the people in the back you have two tablets that you can not only enjoy in the car but you can take with you. Yeah, so it's um, in the back we have two 10-inch uh, 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 tablets as you said, you can take them away, um, they're Android based systems, you can download different apps on there, you can do emails, work documents or you can go more down the entertainment side, watch films, listen to music. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so you can take the apps, or they can take the tablets away from the car. They can connect with your home or office Wi-Fi, and you can continue to work on them uh, whilst being away from the car, or um, continue to watch your film or something. If, uh, if you arrive home and uh, you're frustrated because you've not quite finished the film you started watching, then it's uh, it's not a problem. You can uh, take your tablet inside and finish the film, and you can even charge your tablets away from the car as well. So. Um, you can take your tablets around anywhere and, and bring them back to the car and again it's just another piece that can integrate into your lifestyle. I mean with SUVs what we did find with the research and speaking to customers all around yeah. the world is that it's a car that really connects to their lifestyle. Um, the diversity of usage of, of SUVs is, is massive. Yeah. So you have some customers that drive the cars in big cities, that's all they do, they commute to work, meetings, dinners, everything else in the city. You have other customers that like to go um, more off-roading in the country, in some narrow country, rain, um, narrow country roads, or in the UK, like hunting on fields and everything else. Yeah. So you have this really wide um, kind of range of usage, and, um, and that's why in terms of configurability and options, uh, the Bentayga is really stretched. I mean, depending on what you're going to use the car for, you can you can take it in so many different directions. Really. And even some people can bring it to a place like this, Lime Rock uh, yeah. track, and where we right. just uh, <laughs> experienced it with uh, Brandon Bass or Derek Bell and some of the professional drivers at the Bentley team. Yeah. And and it's amazing how well it performs on the track because I mean it's a big vehicle as you were saying. Yeah. And heavy, but I, again it has like something up there that can move it right yeah exactly i mean it's it's got the w12 engine so yeah. there's more than enough power um what 600 brake Six, horsepower yeah. um so it'll go 0 to 60 in uh, just four seconds so and a top speed of 187 miles an hour i mean those are performance figures um that quite honestly is, is kind of our, our top of the range two-door sports cars i yeah. mean it is figures that you wouldn't associate an suv with so you've got the sheer amount of power um and as with Bentleys and with all the models in the range, you've got that extremely high level of torque as well. So there's 900 newton meters of torque in the engine, which really helps uh, in terms of uh, delivering that power to the road, but also in, in, in off-road environments as well. So, so you have all those different modes for to achieve the, the best uh, possible driving experience in, in that, right? Like comfort, sport, snow, yeah. which we're not going to experience today. Yeah, exactly. And it's. I think that what it is really is you have so much technology within the car um, and in some of the driver systems but it's how we've managed to integrate that technology and make it very intuitive, user friendly, it's not overwhelming when you're driving the car, you can really use all the features that are available um, to offer and, and this is one example so depending on the, the environment you're driving in you turn the dial, um, snow and ice for example and when you select that then many things around the car change, um, the character of the engine changes, the, the dampening system, suspension, the active roll control, even the display on the MMI screen. So a lot changes just by turning a simple dial really. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. The transmission is about an 8 speed? 8 speed transmission, um, so hopefully as you felt on the track or as you're feeling now it's, it's very seamless. Oh yeah completely, the, I mean, uh, and, and then you can control with the shifter so if you, yeah. if, yeah, if you exactly. would like to do that. And uh, I understand we also have the technology to deactivate some of the cylinders so you can be more efficient with the fuel? Yeah, so um, I mean it's a W12 engine, it's a big engine that can deliver a lot of power but at the same time of course we're conscious we, we want to continue to improve fuel economy and CO2 and and uh, yeah, and protect the environment. So it, whilst it is a W12, it has cylinder deactivation technology. 
um, which works very much in the way that this, the technology works on our other cars uh, throughout the range. So basically, it will turn into a uh, into a V6. Um, so right now, for example, we're not going that fast. We're going uh, 60 miles an hour. So maybe at this situation, it's completely seamless. You wouldn't even know. You would. Right you now. would never. That's and that's the beauty of it. Um, you would never feel when the cylinders are, are closing off. And and then again, if you put your foot down, you will never feel when they kick back in again. You just you would you'd have the power have the power there um, so it's it's that kind of yeah you don't feel it happening which is obviously very important um, but at the same time at the same time you have a big saving on fuel economy and um, co2 so. okay so uh, being Bentley I understand this uh, car uh, comes uh, with SUV I'm sorry <laughs> yeah. comes with a standard 17 exterior colors yeah but uh, I mean as you were saying like oh there are customers for with a wide wide variety of tastes yeah so they can pretty pick whatever color they want yeah I mean um, so you have the standard range and then you have our extended paint range um, of around 130 paint colors um, different finishes from solid metallic pearlescence yeah. um, if you still can't choose it would be from hard not to find a color you like <laughs> yeah, pretty right? difficult I mean we have some customers and, it, and it's right I mean we will produce anything that really meets that customers taste so if you can't find a color in the 130 that you're really happy about, um, we can then go into the realms of personal commission painting. And um, we've had customers uh, that arrive at the factory with uh, a, a kitchen blender, for example. They really like the color of it, or uh, nail varnishes, or yeah. you name it. Um, the stories around it, and and they find something they really like the color of it, and we can match the paint color. So there's no limit. So. If anybody, is there something that you wouldn't do? Like say, ah, maybe it doesn't go with the design. Like, I mean, we would never, as as a brand, we would never stop somebody based yeah. on taste. I it's mean, your it's your car at the end, right? A Bentley is very personal. Yeah, it's their car, and uh, we will try our utmost to um, kind of deliver on to match their personality and something that they really find special. It's that kind of bespoke experience that's still very special about them. So the cars are ready in production in a crew in a, yeah in right. England and uh, when they're coming to the US and what's going to be the price range and one of the options, I mean there's infinite options I guess, but yeah, what will be um, the most popular I would think. Yeah, so um, they're being produced at the moment, you're right, um, entering global markets at slightly different times um, due to certification and everything else, yeah. um, every market is different of course, so we'll get the first markets here, sorry, the first cars here in the US in middle of the summer time, um, you'll start to see the first cars on the road. Um, the base price level for the car is $229,000. Um, that does come with a specification of standard, so, so a number of things are in there. It's not a total, total base car. Um, for example, the Mulliner driving specification um, is it, built into that price, but uh, we still expect customers to, you know, they start specking the car up, adding more options. Um, there's a lot of driver assistance systems, um, Technology options, you know, tires, I guess. Yeah, different wheels. wheel sizes, wheel finishes. Um, as standard, you get the 21 inch wheel, um, but you can go bigger up to 22, which, if you're not going to be doing too much off roading, um, like makes Miami. It hard. It's surprisingly how Miami, you see these kind of cars, and like nobody goes, up, there's nowhere to go <laughs> in Miami, but yeah, you exactly. still see them. Yeah, exactly. But uh, exactly, so if you're not going to do much off roading, then 22 inch wheels. Um, Visually, they look stunning on the car, yeah. and they really uh, accentuate the car's design. So, if a customer is not going to be going off roading, then that's a perfect wheel for them. Uh, the 21 inch is a good all-round wheel, really. And are you going to be offering uh, some of the sets, like the in some of your cars, you have the refrigerator, the champagne uh, cooler, and all that? Is yeah, that, uh, that's available here. Yeah. So there's, in addition to kind of like the normal options that you'd associate, there's a there's a whole suite of lifestyle um, options as well. The um, the picnic camp is one of them, um, developed by Molina. Uh, we have the event seat, um, which is uh, a nice kind of leather um, fold-down seat that comes out of the, the trunk space, so you can sit on the back of it if you're going into the country or in a, an event. So there's loads of different lifestyle-based yeah. features. I, I mean, again, you can take your car or specify your car in so many different directions. It's, it's really so down the to picnic it. set with the bench seating. I mean, that's like. I just imagining like you have there, you have your bottle of champagne, you have yeah. your dish, you have your food, and then you go to the beach and maybe have a dinner by the beach or something like that. Yeah, right? exactly. Or the countryside here, which is beautiful. Exactly, and you can really kind of 
enjoy the car when you go out with your family and you can go to some of these amazing places. I mean, around here, it's uh, it's pretty amazing country. I mean, these kind of places, it's just great to take the car um, either to an event or with your family and really utilize everything about the car and integrate the, the car into your enjoyment of the place. And um, that's what it's all about, really. Well, great. Uh, thank you for the time, for uh, spending time with us here on the road uh, with Aventega. Now we're gonna turn right here into the entrance of Lambrock yeah. uh, Racetrack and we're gonna enjoy the other aspect of this car which is uh, really uh, when you drive on the racetrack it's really really turns itself into a sports car yeah definitely so uh, a very different feel to what we're doing now but uh, yeah my pleasure it's great thank to you, talk with you. <laughs>